Folks, welcome to the Jake Feinberg Show here in Oakland with uh, base legend David Morgan. Welcome back, my brother. Good to see you, man. It was nice hanging tonight with you, man. We haven't had a live hang for a while. So, uh, yes, it was fun. We just uh, inside a piano bar listening to some karaoke where I had to put down my musician ear and just pick up my fun ear. So there you go. Uh, you know, and it also, like... <laughs> Shout out to Jeff Lavis for just being a professional and cooking the groove on the piano. No, he was sounding great, man. Sounding good, man. He's, he's a great player. I wanted to no. give you a platform for the uh, for your mile story. All right, so uh, this is good. So I was with <clears throat> Santana, and we were playing, who was it? I don't think it was the Beacon. It was some large theater in New York City and uh, so we heard Miles was coming down so that meant Carlos would be kind of a uh, uh, yeah, yeah on the gig because he you know he worshipped Miles sure so Miles came down he's like standing at the side of the stage for the whole show and of course of course Carlos was um, let's just say he was having a time with the band because uh he was freaked because Miles was there. And, sure, uh, sure. But so after the show, Miles, he came down with Mike Carabello, who was the original Punga player in the I original love that Santana. Man, I like yeah, yeah. yeah, so. Uh, a, dear, a dear man. I haven't called oh, yeah, him. No, before. Michael's great, man. What a Freaking sweet guy. Awesome yeah, dude, yeah man. great, great guy, man. So, Group in the mission. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, uh, so Miles was backstage, wow. and then he, he kind of came up to me and he goes, Man, you a bad motherfucker. And I'm like, wow, man, that's coming from Miles Davis. I was like, this is like, you know, the biggest compliment of my life. And then he said, he told Carabella, he told me, he said, I want you to come up to my pad tomorrow and hang out, man. I'm going to check you out some more. And so yeah. I was. What the fuck? And so Carabelle said, yeah, man, let's go up there tomorrow, you know? But in my stupidity as a young man, I had a girlfriend in the city that I wanted to hang out with. And then, so I ended up not going up there the next day, but mm -hmm. that same evening, Miles and Carlos, they took uh, Carlos's limo up to Harlem or someplace and they were hanging out. And then finally, I guess Miles went out to cop cop some dope because this is back when he was They're using it. using yeah and uh so i think carlos finally like left him up in harlem someplace oh at four in the morning <laughs> <laughs> and, and, like we heard about you, it you didn't have a gig that night or like, no we had a, we had we had played that night and then so they went out after the gig but the next day was a day off, I think. Yeah, that so, was a day off. Right? Yeah, it was a day yeah, off. Yeah. So, so, he, so he, Carlos uh, left him in Harlem. Left him in Harlem, and then I just... Did you see him after that? No, nah, man, I screwed up, man. man. It, was like, it was the stupidest thing I've ever done, man, in my career, as far as, like, not going up and taking up Miles to go hang at his house the next day. So that's my Miles story. I don't. Th I honestly, I think... But here... Ross Conkle said, Miles came up to him after James Taylor, he's like, I dug what you did with the brushes, man. I'm like... I think the, the cool part of that story is that he said you're a bad motherfucker. No, I think it was because probably you know, I had a big solo, so he's like... He no, was, I, I don't I, think I, Miles uh, cared about solo. No, he probably did, but he, I, maybe you see that Miles I Miles played three notes and it was good enough. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Miles said three notes and that's it. But no, hearing you a bad motherfucker from Miles Davis, that was, uh, that was that. And it was that and at a rehearsal in Japan, mm. When I was doing some gigs with Herbie and Carlos and Tony Williams. Oh, 82? Yeah, I think 81, 82. That's and, great. Uh, and uh, yeah, wow. I remember I was like, we were doing some walking kind of stuff. And I played like some kind of like descending thing. And Herbie turned over to me and said, looked at me and said, no, that was cool. And so I felt like, man, I, man, I can't play straight but ahead. Let me ask like, you a straight ahead like these guys. I mean, I can play funk, but, you know, but man. So go ahead. No, I, uh, those instances, do you even know where, I mean, you were so in the moment, you don't even know what came out of you, right? No, it was something that I probably, like, 
internalized. Yeah, internalized, but I worked on it at home, probably. I mean, I was like, hey, man, I'm walking, man. man. So, so I tried this, like, descending thing, and I saw Herbie look over me. Yeah, man, that's, 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 that's cool. So it's was like, so those, those are my two stories for this evening in the alley, hanging yeah. with Jake Feinberg in Oakland, California, Morgan. on a Friday night, uh, checking out the karaoke piano bar. Yeah, dude. And, and <laughs> it was a good break from watching CNN all day and seeing. I was gonna. That's sing, what I wanted to close sing, with. I wanted sings. you. I wanted yeah, you to I mean, say, I mean, just, I being, feel, being being related to these people. No, my grandma. My, my grandmother came from Lviv to this country and uh, in Ukraine. And man, I, I'm just like, I'm just hurting tonight for these people. So all I can say is, what I'm saying tonight, I dedicate it to the people of Ukraine that are suffering. And Putin, Putin is a fucking dictator and authoritarian, and as far as I can tell, the new Hitler of Europe. So let's all just give a shout out for the people suffering tonight in Ukraine. A lot of suffering, yeah. a lot of hunger, a lot of t time to be humble and, and yeah, to see yeah. human I mean, suffering. Just, so I mean, uh, you know, actually, you no, know, Jake, I'm I'm pretty political, so I just feel. Well, this hits cl really close to home for you. Yeah, I just feel horrible. I mean, I mean, you know, my rest of my grandparents are Russian, and they would have been probably they're probably looking up right now. Well, ultimately, the people of Russia are going to have to stand up and basically say they're our brothers and sisters. Yeah, I know, but, how, but you know, how can you end up when you have an authoritarian? Well, like, yeah, it's, like it's schizophrenia, dude. It's schizophrenia. Yeah, yeah. It's insane. I mean, he's crazy, man. So. So and, and, they, and they've actually cracked down on protests. Oh. For the last three years, hardcore. Oh, and I so, know. Yeah. But, but, you know, yesterday's saying, you know. Shoving old women into bands. Oh, yeah, they were doing it yesterday. I mean, yeah. it was just horrible. I mean, and then so. we'll, see, we'll see when things fissure in this country. You know, I like to keep the vibe high with Marg, and politics is so toxic, so. I know. So Dude, let's, let's go back yeah, no, to, we'll, like, No, we'll, 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 yeah. we'll, 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 we'll continue this in, in a different form. I just I just wanted to say it's, a, it's an honor to be connected with you, man. I mean, it was great hanging with you tonight. Man. It was a lot of fun. It was fucking great. <laughs> the Jake Feinberg Show. All See right. you later. Thank you. Later. Okay.